Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on rounding numbers. There's going to be a couple of videos on this topic. In the first video we'll cover some key skills and in the second we'll go through some examples. So the first skill we'll look at is rounding numbers to a given number of decimal places. So here we have to round 3.6874 to two decimal places. So uh, what we can do is if we like we can draw a line in. Uh, so this is going to show us where our cutoff point is and this is after the second decimal place. So the moment we've got 3.68 and we want to round either up or down with this 74 afterwards. So now we look at the digit after the cutoff point. So in this case, it's a seven. Uh, and the rule is if it's zero to four, so in other words, less than five, uh, we round down. And if it is five or more, so in other words, uh, five to nine, uh, then we round up. So uh, here we've got a seven, which is greater than five. So we're gonna have to round up. So we're left with 3.69. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, let's move on to significant figures. So in this case, we've got to round 0 0.045. Let's write this out. 0 0.04529 to two significant figures. Now significant figures are different to decimal places. Uh, here we're considering the first two digits, which are non-zeros. So uh, in this case, we've got 0 0.045. So the zeros we ignore and the four five are the first two significant figures. So our cutoff point is after the four and the five. So now we have to round this to two significant figures. So we look at the digit after the cutoff point. And again, the rule is the same. So here it's a two, which is less than five. Uh, it's between zero and four. So we're gonna have to round down. Uh, so we're left with 0 0.045. So that's the two significant figures or SF for short. So the next skill we'll look at is rounding numbers to the nearest whole number. So in this example, we have to round 112 to the nearest 10. So here we're gonna to have to look for the tens column. So uh, the column on the right is the ones, then we have the tens, then we have the hundreds and so on. Uh, so the cutoff point is here between the one and the two. So uh, we're rounding to the nearest 10, so we consider the digit after the cutoff point, which is the two here, and it's less than five, so we're gonna round down. So we round down to 110, and we put a zero in here uh, just to keep the place value the same because otherwise we just have 11. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Moving on to the last skill then, rounding numbers, which um, in this case we're carrying the one. So what does that mean? Uh, well, if we've got an example here of uh, 4.398 and we're rounding to two decimal places, let's draw the cutoff point in here. Uh, so we've got 4.398 and uh, obviously eight is greater than five. So we're gonna have to round up. Uh, but when we, when we round this eight up, uh, we're going to be left with a 10 here rather than a 9. So what does that mean? Uh, well, we're going to have to add 1 to the uh, digit in the tenths column. So we're going to be left with 4.40. So the 9 becomes a 10, uh, but then that 1 from the 10 is carried over to the next column. So we're left with 4.40. So if you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at a variety of different question types uh, and all of it you'll get instant feedback on so it's a really good way of keeping track of where your areas of weaknesses are where your strengths are and where you can improve for your exams so if you're interested you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there